Good morning and welcome to the Forex Daily Update brought to you by Pepperstone on Wednesday the 3rd of January 2018. I'm Darren Sindon and you can follow me throughout the day on Twitter by using at DS underscore Pepperstone. Right, let's take a look at overnight changes and price moves we need to be aware of. Uh, a relatively quiet start to the first day of the trading year. I will just flag three points of interest. Uh, cable, sterling dollar uh, trading with a 136 handle this morning. Uh, we saw gains in the euro yesterday. Maybe uh, the uh, march of sterling perhaps caught one or two people by surprise. Uh, Bitcoin trades at $15,066 a coin shortly before we recorded the video. And uh, the reason why uh, both the euro and sterling are making gains is quite clear here with dollar index at 91.85 uh, the US dollar off to uh, a shaky start to 2018. Okay what's on the calendar events that may move the markets today. Uh, reasonably active calendar today but we are still easing ourselves into the new year. First of all at uh, 8 o'clock we'll have unemployment change for November from Spain and that'll be followed at 8.15 and 8.30 by retail sales and the PMI data for December out of Switzerland. Then at 9 o'clock German unemployment uh, for December and that's followed at 9.30 by construction PMI for DEC out of the UK. We jump forward to midday for the US MBA mortgage applications data for the week of December 29th. And then there's a small gap until around uh, 1500 uh, GMT before you get the ISM manufacturing PMI out of the US for December. And that's accompanied by the prices paid data from ISM as well for DEC. Uh, alongside which we will have construction spending for November out of the States and then uh, the highlight of the day, as far as uh, releases and reports are concerned, we will have the FOMC minutes at 1900 GMT, uh, the details of the last Fed meeting of 2017, and the chance for the market to scrutinise who said what, about what, and to whom. Right, breaking news and comment that's caught my eye overnight. First of all, shares in the world's largest shipbuilder, Korea's Hyundai Heavy, have jumped 10% higher on a bullish sales outlook for 2018, says the Financial Times. Time manufacturing PMI for December has shown expansion once more uh, at a read of 50.4 after a three-month break from uh, growth. Staying with uh, economic data, Brazil's trade surplus for December has come in well ahead of forecast, up by some uh, $500 billion over the uh, expected amount and over 2017 as a whole the surplus in the country has grown by some 41 percent versus uh, that seen in 2016. Saudi Arabia's GDP however is contracted by 0.43 percent in Q3 and that after a 1 percent contraction in the prior quarter as the country tries to rebalance its economy. Uh, the kingdom has raised petrol prices by as much as 127 percent as part of that process so some big social and economic changes still going on in Saudi Arabia. Right, food for thought, something to take away with you into the trading day today. Why not think about this? Uh, continued economic growth is contingent upon increases in productivity, it seems, and younger populations can help to boost that growth. But how can aging economies such as Germany, Japan, the UK and the US, etc. boost their productivity levels? A couple of interesting charts here, uh, one on the left about uh, the effect of young people in a population versus the level of real GDP growth. And uh, to the right hand side, what is driving GDP growth, a uh, chart that shows hours worked versus real productivity. Um, it seems to me that uh, one area that we might have to think about uh, in terms of increasing productivity is automation. Right, uh, risk warning time. Please take a moment to read the risk warning. Trading CFDs and foreign exchange on margin can be a risky business. If you're in any doubt about those risks, then please do contact your Pepperstone account representative.